Yeshayahu, Isaiah 15, the burden of Moab, because in the night Ar of Moab is laid waste and brought to silence, because in the night Kir of Moab is laid waste and brought to silence. He has gone up to Beith and to Divan, the high places to weep. Moab shall howl over Nevu and over May Diva. On all their heads shall be baldness and every beard cut off. In their streets they shall gird themselves with sackcloth on the tops of their houses and in their streets. Everyone shall howl, weeping abundantly. And Chesban shall cry and El al -e. Their voice shall be heard even unto Yehatz, rather, Yaatz. Therefore the armed soldiers of Moab shall cry out, His life shall be grievous unto him. My heart shall cry out for Moab, His fugitives shall flee unto Soar, a heifer of three years old. For by the mounting up of Luchith, with weeping shall they go up it, rather go, shall they go it up. For in the way of Charanaim they shall raise up a cry of destruction. For the waters of Nimrim shall be desolate, for the hay is withered away. The grass fails, there is no green thing. Therefore the abundance they have gotten and that which they have laid up, shall they carry away to the brook of the willows. For the cry is gone round about at the borders of Moab, the howling thereof unto Egleim, and the howling thereof unto Be'er Elim. For the waters of Diman shall be full of blood, for I will bring more upon Diman. Lions upon him, and that escapes of Moab, and upon the remnant of the land.